partner, Bravo 102, swivel 2 POV, decaying engine oil pressure, returning to Shortbury uh, to land on. Hi, uh, my name is Bob Obsiderick uh, from RC Simulation. We produce a range of trainers called the Innovation Range and we've produced the Innovation Squib, which is Squirrel in a Box. I'm going to just plug the jack in now so that we can get, get it to start properly. Okay. Uh, I'm ex Air Force and a helicopter pilot with about 10,000 hours experience. And just about the time I was retiring, um, the contract came up for this new uh, innovation trainer and Bob asked me if I'd help on the project, which I've uh, been thrilled to do. And we've been taking Microsoft Flight Simulator to the ultimate degree. Can we really go to shop? Just one moment, Andy. Just a just on. Okay. And then what? I'll go to the instructor station. And we'll just take you with a nice, a nice poor visibility day. I've been there to advise on all things directly associated with Shawby and with aviation, having worked here for many years, and I'm delighted with the level of fidelity that we've reached. To start the whole system, we've simplified the process as much as possible and used remote controlled uh, computer start buttons here and remote controlled projector buttons. To turn on the projectors, we merely press one button here, turns on all six projectors. When you want to shut down, you can shut them down using the button. If you wish to turn the mains power off, of course they need cooling time, so we've supplied a stopwatch so they can time the cooling period before turning the main power off. Right, the instructor panel on my left has two positions. It can either be slid to the rear for the instructor sitting in the back seat to operate or slid forward for operation if the instructor is sat in the front left hand seat. Initially it acts as a flight selection panel and then once in flight it reverts to a straight instructor panel including a moving map covering the local area a copy of the central warning panel and pressing any, it's a touch screen, so pressing any caption on the warning panel brings up the appropriate caption on the main instrument panel along with all its associated other functions. So any emergency that's on the CWP can be practiced from that. Also these buttons down the left hand side cater for emergencies that are not directly associated with the central warning panel. So, for example, an engine failure, tire rotor failure, fuel filter caption, and uh, torque gauge failure can all be simulated by pressing buttons on, the, on that panel. Okay, we have a full intercom system which is mounted in the roof with pigtails for the front two seats and one behind me for the anyone sitting in the rear. We also have three spotlights, one for each seating position, one above the rear seat, and one directed down into the lap of each of the pilots. The instrument panels comprise of three LCD monitors with overlays to enable us to fit knobs and switches in all the correct locations. All the systems have been modelled so all of the uh, performance gauges function exactly as they would in the normal aircraft. The central warning panel works, the radio selectors work and it puts the pilot in exactly the right environment. On the left hand panel we have a full set of instruments arranged exactly as per the real squirrel and all the knobs and switches function as they should do. Central warning panel we can test from this button and during flight the instructor in the back can bring up any warning on there to simulate emergencies. Radio selections function exactly as they would in the real aircraft. The same with the transponder down here, we can select any required transponder frequency. GPS functions insofar as it is set to go to Shawbury and it gives a permanent readout of ground speed, track, 
and bearing and distance to Shawbury. The DME is also functioning as is the VOR. All the engine systems perform exactly as the real aircraft would. Going to the right hand panel has the full set of instruments that the squirrel has on the right hand side with one small addition in the top right hand corner what is normally a label during the interactive sorties actually provides data to make sure the pilot is flying the right headings and heights as a reminder. Between the pilots and quite low down is the Honeywell panel which is in the same location as the one in the aircraft. It's merely a, uh, a panel which controls various systems through the aircraft and that is replicated here and all of the buttons on the system work. We've also incorporated into the panel uh, an abort and pause button for the simulation using redundant buttons within the Honeywell panel. The collective lever operates in the normal fashion. It is fitted with a throttle and on closing the throttle the engine can be shut down in flight in response to various emergencies. The motion platform is controlled by the simulator but the power supply to it can be isolated using the red button on the floor and there is a coded controller so that only instructors actually can activate the motion platform if you don't want the students to actually have access to it. Shortly we'll have Carl Evans, one of the current instructors on the Squirrel, coming along with one of his students to fly the innovation trainer and he'll be flying a few circuits and demonstrating emergencies to his student. concept is to produce an integrated system which is portable, a high level of functionality which although not a full simulator, full level D simulator, has still got the core elements that a trainer would be looking for. We've incorporated 210 degrees of visual, we've incorporated motion queuing within the cockpit structure. allows us to connect um, NATO headsets with the correct level, of, level of, of attenuation. We've actually looked at very cl closely at the uh, health and safety implications of things like motion platforms and um, we've ended up with something which is really, really quite special. Okay, so check. So CDP is clear. Fuel, we're on uh, 325. Engine instruments, oh, on the green. Red right alt, wide off. And Hans says, it's nice and lots of tables, please. Okay, yeah, no, I'm not in total, so. Uh, so if you look at your landing point now, and it's just starting to 
start to disappear, and I think just as you get to this ridge, it'll be a good time for you to start turning back a little bit later. Okay. So, it's going through the uh, 3 o'clock now, into, just into the 4, wait for about 4.30. Jewelry information data, all runways available, surface wind calm, blue. KFV 1004, Barnsley 1008, diversion home. Turn them open on all runways, flying phase 5 Alpha, short information Delta. That's it, starting, gentle descent. Gentle descent, 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 Central and uh, right, go off. 